right, folks, welcome back to another Budget Gem War Budget Bust. I uh, got a different type of video for you today. Um, yes, there'll still be an Amp Dino, but obviously there's no box on the table. There is not going to be an unboxing video, and I'm probably not going to walk around this amplifier um, because of one reason. Uh, there's already been videos done of this amp. Um, I have a SCAR RP2000.1D here. Um, some of you might have seen this particular amp in my uh, precision power video and um, there is a story behind this amp. Uh, this is also a refurb model. Uh, as you can tell this one is in better shape than the one Big D Wiz got. Um, he also tested a refurbed RP2000.1D and uh, I already know going into this test it's already a budget gem. Um, so I really want to focus on two things in this video. Um, first is going to be SCAR customer service. Um, a story that you guys don't know. So Big D Wiz and I both ordered these around the same time, unbeknownst to each other. Um, <laughs> I was on the road traveling. He uh, sent me a message saying, hey, I just bought a uh, SCAR refurb 2000.1D. And I texted back, uh, so did I. So we both had the same idea. His came in first. Um, you saw his video, his was a little bit banged up. Um, I was kind of expecting the same thing when mine came in. Um, and what I'm about to show you in this clip here, that's not what happened to me. Just wanted to quickly show you what I got in the mail here. Um, I ordered this week a SCAR RP2001D refurb. Um, you know, just happened to be very similar to what Big D just ordered this week as well. Um, but I wanted to show you as well what I got in the mail because um, I was a little surprised when I opened her up. Um, yeah, just like Big D, this is the face knob and cable. And uh, it also is very unprotected in the shipping box. Um, so, I mean, this is going to be common what you get with a refurb from them. It's literally paper stacked on top of the amplifier and they sent me the wrong amp. <laughs> Um, I paid 179 bucks and I got a RP1500.1D um, instead of the 2000 that I ordered. So I've already emailed Amazon and SCAR that said I don't want this amp. Um, I already know what this amp is going to do. I, I tested the American base and I know what this board does. I don't care to own this amplifier either. Um, and I certainly don't want to own it for $10 more than what I could have bought a new one for. So, back it shall go. But, uh, I'm disappointed. I was hoping to get you guys a unbiased video of the RP2000.1D. Um, not going to happen, though. At least not right now. Oh, well. So, as you saw there, I got a RP1500.1D. In instead of what I ordered. Now, I was fully prepared to have a bad day uh, when that happened. It came in on Friday. I couldn't get a hold of Scar. I was fuming all weekend um, because I've seen some of these smaller internet companies, and I'm not calling Scar small, but I've seen some of them how they treat customers when there's a problem. Um, first, it's our fault, the customer. Um, like, oh, no, 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 I really did get an RP2000, and now I'm trying to scam them by selling, sending them the 1500. These are thoughts going in my head. Uh, because I've seen some other interactions, I'm not going to name names, between owners of companies and consumers where they're immediately attacking the consumer when there's a problem. I hate that. I will never recommend one of those companies. Uh, I will never test one of their amps. So, if any of you have read some of my comments, you'll know who I'm talking about. Um, so, anyway, I was prepared for that. And I was prepared to launch a tirade against Scar if that happened to me. Um, but it didn't. I called them on the phone on Monday uh, of this time happening. I explained to them the problem. First guy, hey, no problem. I'm going to send you a return receipt right now. And we're going to send that to you. 
you're going to send it back to us on our dime. It was our mistake, and uh, we'll take care of it. So I said, okay, we'll see how this goes. I was all, you know, again, I was defensive, and I'm thinking, all right, let's see when the amp gets there, how long it takes for me to get this. So I watch it through UPS, and I'm tracking, and I'm tracking, and I'm tracking, and it gets there. I call them immediately as soon as UPS had signed it in. I call them up, get a different guy on the phone. I say, hey, I'm going through this. He says, okay. He's like, here's the deal. As soon as we scan your amp in, we'll send you your new one out. You'll have your new one on the way to you same day. And I'm like, that'll be incredible if that actually happens. Lo and behold, that's exactly what happened. Um, and then when mine came in several days later, it is a lot better shape than the one Big D Wiz got came in. I practically think this one looks almost brand new. Um, it's got maybe one little tiny nick on it. And the bottom plate even has the QC seal. So good job to SCAR customer service. Um, I was impressed. I know some people out there are not SCAR fans. Um, they, in their customer service treatment of me, um, I was real happy with what I received. So, good job, Scar. Um, okay, the next thing I want to focus in on is what happened during Big D Wiz's test. Um, as you saw, he opened up and showed the guts of the amplifier, and it showed the outputs going to the outer terminals um, for the speaker outputs. So that led to a lot of people to say online, there's more power that comes out of the outer terminals of this amplifier than comes out of uh, the inner two. So, since I didn't want to just do a third straight up dyno test of this amplifier, here's what this one, here's what we're gonna test. Um, we're gonna do four ohms, two ohms, and then when we do the one ohm test, we are going to do it in stereo mode on the amp dyno. So it'll be a two ohm load going to the outer terminals and the inner terminals. And we're going to see then, that's a summed one ohm mono load on the amp. So you'll total the two and that'll still give you what the output is. And we're going to see, is there really a difference between the outer and inner terminals on this amp? Okay. Um, I might even try to do a 0.8 ohm dynamic test as well, just for kicks. All right, so I'll see you after the tests are done, and we're gonna see just how much of a budget gem this amp is.
folks. Final thoughts on the SCAR RP2000.1D. Um, just as I expected. Yeah, still a budget gem. Um, wow. Uh, this is the most powerful amp I ever had at 1 ohms on my test bench. Ever. Um, it came really close to being the most power ever dynamically at 0.8 ohms. Well, it is the most power at 0.8 ohms I've ever had on either this amp dyno or my old AMM1. Um, I know if I had dropped it to 0.5 dynamic, 0.5 dynamic, it would have been pushing this amp um, quite a bit. Um, but still, it would have blown out the precision power if I had done that. I don't recommend it. I wouldn't drop it that low. Um, I was a little doing a little figure cross at 0.8 ohms dynamically. So, but it's got this thing's got a ton of power in it. So, that's it for now, folks. I got more amps to test. Um, you're gonna like what's coming next week. So, stay tuned.